Hello and welcome to some more Power Pros World Koshien. We got MC Scales going up against Edge Kushin here in a nice little battle between Kappa Academy and the Hashimoto Academy. Battle of the Academies. We're going to be seeing it from MC Scales perspective here. And we got Akane on the mound yet again who got the W here in the first game against Matt 3 to 2. Coming up first here. First time we're going to see Edge Kushin his first game and first up to the plate, we've, we've got Watanabe. Now, Edgecution, he did quite a pretty good job very late here building his squad with the ha Hashimoto Academy. We'll talk more about them as they come to the plate, but Akane is going to get a big K here. Uh, Sugisaka, uh, Sugisaka coming up to the plate here. A contact. Now, Sugisaka... Uh, had a pretty good training arc, 300 batting average, 1 home run, 11th tied for RBIs. Ball up the middle, not going to run that out. Got to be made made a play there. And here comes the big boy, Nishihara, starting pitcher, third batter, Nishihara, world class, ninth in ERA, ninth in batting average. Really talented player, 767 stars. He's going to tap it over to Takeshi. He's gonna, he's gonna pick up that left-handed arm and throw it across the diamond, and that will be the end of the first half. So we're gonna get to see MC Scales yet again. Here is Nishihara, the lefty. We'll see, see if Kito can get things going for Scales in the Kappa Academy. Purple, uh, sorry, blue mood for Kito here. Let's see how he handles it. Wow, the speed on that Nishihara fastball looking pretty good. We're going to be, like I said, we're going to be seeing it from Scales' perspective. We're going to get a good look at what it feels like to hit off of Nishihara. So, soft ground ball there. That's going to be one out. And now Megumi is up. Ooh, power curveball. I think this is one of the first power curveballs we've seen. Uh, really good there. Fork ball. We know MC Scales hits fork balls all over that. He really did his work with with uh, Matt uh, really early on, and, and Megumi will get on here uh, with Nishihara pitching. So, Megumi. A. I don't know if we'll see the steal. There is the level 5 shoot ball from Nishihara. He's pausing, waiting. The high power curveball. That's going to, if he can continue to locate that, that's going to be tough. And oh, wow. The, the jam job there. Going to roll two, and look at that. Education is going to get out of it. Just that one hit, now 0-0. Zero, zero. Going to the top of the second. Fourth batter, Goto. I think early on, uh, we're probably going to see a slight advantage to Education, who has a little better pitching. He's uh, a little bit better. Nishihara is a better hitter than Akane, but Akane, uh, pretty good. You can't sleep on Akane. And plus, Scales, one of the better hitters uh, here in the Power Pearls world, Koshien slash Discord. So, we haven't seen too much education either in PvP play. Self-proclaimed somebody who needs to, he said he needs to get better, but here's the thing, he's a veteran. We know he's super good at this game. We, he's been in this Discord for five plus years. One of the best there is at Icon 9, so we expect a lot from him in this tournament. So, that's going to be a pop out here. Uh, Kasuke is going to get it, and now Hasegawa, the sixth batter, batter first baseman, comes up to the plate. And he's going to pop one out here. I don't know if Kasuke is going to get there. Makes a dive, does not. Akane still keeping everyone off balance. There is a s nice little slow pitch. Kotetsu is going to get there, makes the throw over to Kojima, who gets a start this time at first base. And that is the end of the top of the first. We got Kojima, Kazuhito, and Daisuke coming up to the plate. As we see Nishihara walk out on, walk back out onto the field. Here comes the fork ball, just swings underneath it. And so we got an 0-1 pitch, a power curveball, scales on top of it. Uh, Sugisaka is gonna make a, you know, gonna turn back over his left shoulder, realizes it's not gonna go that deep, comes and makes the catch. Kazuhito. Watches a pretty good shoot ball and then another really good shoot ball. The spin on that is very, very tight. That is tough to see. It looks like Scales is all over the power curveball. So, fork balls, power curveball, Scales is just waiting for those. The shoot ball and fastball. He has not been able to hit as well just yet, but hey, it's early. We'll see how it goes. Ground ball to first base will end the inning here. And it is still 0 zeros here. One hit for Kappa Academy. 
coming up here, and now Yamashika coming up to the plate. Akane ready to deal again, continuing to uh, uh, continue to hammer inside here. There's a backup hard slider, and now comes what I think I, I think this is a it may be a changeup. I'll have to see what that is. Uh, but, you know, a lot of slow speed on that. Level 2. People have been sitting on it, but they haven't been able to hit it that well. Tries for the bunt here. Kasuke will not get there, but Takahashi, the 8th batter, tries to lay it down with the A speed here in the 8th spot. Does not get it down. 1-2. Here comes that reverse cutter that we talked about last time. Looks like a, a moving straight. And then here it comes yet again inside. And I think that might be a catch by Kojima. Uses a little bit of that speed to get there. And Kobayashi up to the plate. Perfect, perfect. Got a lot of plate there. But uh, that will be strike number one. And then Kobayashi hits it to first. Kojima getting a lot of action so far this game. That is three here in the top of the third. Moving on to the bottom of the fourth. Akane dealing pretty good there. Pounds it with Kotetsu. Kosuke coming up to the plate here. Nishihara ready to deal more. Just underneath that fastball. That'll be knocked out, you know, out of the stadium into the stands. Here it comes yet again, but great eye by MC Scales. Think we're gonna see that shooto here inside. No, a fork ball. And once again, Scales is ready to go. Take note, everybody that's watching, if you're going up against Scales, you do not want to throw this man a fork ball. He is, he is smashing him every time he gets it. He's even hitting that power curveball pretty well, but going to work in Edgecution's favor here and going to be a double play, twin killing. Now we got Akane up to the plate. Jeez, jeez. Like we said before, not expecting too much. Just got to have Akane focus on the mound. 0-1 from Nishihara. He was on it just a little bit late. And now we got an 0-2 count. What's it going to be? Another fastball, just regular fastball and a high effort, just barely misses. And here comes the shoot. That is such a hard pitch to see with such tight spin. It looks like a fastball. Breaks super late. Really good pitch there. So Akane now here in the top of the fourth. Going to try and keep this game close. 0-0. Zero, zero. Back to the top of the order. Watanabe is going to hit it pretty well, but Kito is there. It's underneath it. That'll be one. Uh, Sugi Saka now up to the plate. Here comes what looks like a that uh, little slow pitch there, and that will be out number two. Kojima takes it himself. Nishihara, see if he needs to put uh, things into his own hands here. Nishihara here in the training arc uh, did pretty well hitting wise too. Like we said, ninth in ERA, but he was also ninth in batting average. 402, four home runs. 21 RBIs, and I think, yep, he then did break it up here. He got the hit. Nishihara will not go to. He would have got hosed if he did, uh, but he will break the ice here. Nishihara gets the first hit for the Hashimoto Academy. Nice hit pretty well. Just nice little flip over to uh, Daisuke at second, and that will end it. So two hits for Kappa, one hit for the Hashimoto Academy here. Moving on to the bottom of the fourth. Top of the order for Kappa Academy with Kito. Ito going to try and hit a fork ball. He's got a little bit of speed. I think Kobayashi will make a play, so that'll be out number one. And now we've got Megumi coming up to the plate. Nishihara still working pretty well here. Just really going back off the fastball shooto. Power curveball high. He's throwing fork ball low. Uh, but, you know, MC Skills is able to get to that again here. And he does yet again. I think at this point, if you're edge, you've got to realize you cannot throw that pitch anymore. GMC scales. I think every one of his hits is off of that pitch. Middle low here, too. Does a hit and run. And he might try to go three here. Oh, he doesn't. Okay, so we've got this out at second. And now it's up to Kojima, the fourth batter, to try and knock in Megumi on a hit. Here comes two shoot balls in a row. I think... He's cut that fork ball out of his repertoire, so three shoot balls in a row. Really relying on what has got him here. What's it going to be? Power curve. Wow, high and into the zone. What will we see? A fork ball way out of the zone. So if he's going to use it, he's going to use it late and really bury it. And the shoot ball. Wow. What an incredible pitch. Wow, that is clutch right there. Nishihara gets out of it. 0-0 still here in the fifth. 
And now the Hashimoto Academy will come hit. Gets jammed here, and that will be out one. Hasegawa now up. Akane doing another very good job here. Last game gave up just two runs. So far here, zero through five. That's a lot of plate, but Hasegawa cannot hit it. 0-2. Oh, here comes a uh, nice little outside pitch. I think that'll work. Yep, he sticks with it. He hung with it. He let it. He let the ball get deep, poked it the other way. Now we got a runner on first with one out with for the seventh batter, Yamashika. Transitioned out a pitcher to catcher, and he's going to get a hit off the same exact pitch, just a different location. Now we got runners on first. First, or first and second with one out. Takahashi, can he be a hero here? He's going to swing. I think Kaska is going to get there. He does over the shoulder. Two outs. Things are getting pretty intense here. Kobayashi, all he has to do is get a nice hit. He got the pitch that he needed, but he swings underneath it, and that will end the inning. Wow. Things are heating up here. Three hits apiece. Moving on to the bottom of the fifth. Kojima gives, shouts out much love to Akane. And now we've got Kazuhito now coming up to the plate. A fork ball yet again, guys. That is... Oh, it falls. So, yes, I think all four hits so far uh, have been on a fork ball. Will Daisuke bunt here to try and get Kazuhito? Go look. He, I think he was sitting maybe something that was going to be away, but that would be the shoot ball. Two low away pitches. Trying to probably stay low here again to try and get that double play. Grounded to a double play. Here cut comes the fork ball. Three... Look at that. All clusters here low way. And now the hit and run. Perfect timing. I think the runner's going to go to third. Kappa Academy first and third. Wow. The poise shown by MC Scales to make that happen. Going to steal. And here comes the fork ball. Let's see if he can work this. Oh, no. He might get hosed at home. He does not. That will be 1-0. Kazuhito comes in. And Daisuke will set at... First, but he makes a steal. He will get hosed, though. Wow. You cannot run on the pitcher. 1-0. Two outs now. And a buried fork ball will end the inning. So, wow. MC Scales uh, lucky to pull away with a, a run there. It looked really early on. He was going to get a ton of runs. Two two runners with, what, one out. Uh, was able to make it happen. They were able to get that one, sweep that one across. Ran himself out of the inning almost a little bit while he had edge on the rope. So Akane able to get a ground ball here to Daisuke. Throws it over. That'll be out one. Sugisaka now up for Hashimoto. The opportunities are falling here, but he's going to stay back on an outside pitch and drills it. So here's, here's the scouting reports right now. We see Kappa Academy drilling the fork ball. Low fork ball just, you know, at, at the edge of the zone or just beneath it. Uh, but you have Edge, who is really doing very well with the outside pitch. Whoa, big steal there by Sugisaka with that B speed. Able to get to second. So all he needs is a ball in the gap here. And that will be an out. So we got two outs. Needs a gapper here from Godo, the fourth batter, if he wants to capitalize on this opportunity. But he's not going to get an outside pitch. Well, he does there, but he misses it. I think MC Scales probably knows now that uh, Edge is hitting the outside pitches very well, but he does hit an inside low pitch uh, split finger very well. That's going to be a double and tie the game up 1-1 here in the sixth. Wow. I have to say, Kappa Academy games right now are the most exciting games. 3-2 versus Matt and the ASU Sun Devils, and now 1-1. One, one. Oh, that might just fall. That might. Will he try and go home? Kazuhito makes the throw. He makes the run to second. He goes up ahead. 2-1. Wow, a double. Man, these, this is an intense game here in the sixth. Edgecution really trying to put it on early here. Gets jammed on a, on a moving fastball inside. Now 1-1. One, one. And he keep the heat on. Here comes that pitch up the middle. That's hit well. I think this run will come down too. He rounds the corner. Kido makes the throw and it is 3-1. Wow. Edgecution pulling away here with Hashimoto Academy. Let's see if Kappa and Akane can, can settle here. Hasegawa on first. Hard ground ball, but I think that might do it. Katetsu makes it easy throw, and that will end the inning. But the damage has been done. 3 1, seven hits. Crooked number in the sixth. Kappa Academy has to respond here. 
They've got essentially, what, 12 outs left here in this game to try and get ahead. But Nishihara has been doing quite well with the yellow moot. Akane now up here, probably going to be milking some pitches. And I think if yeah, if you're if you're Nishihara, you're just going to pound the zone, try and force Akane to beat you. So 1-1, one, one, here comes 1-2, two, two fastballs in a row. We will probably see another one of those here or the patented shoot ball. There it is. The shoot ball popped out here, keeping it alive. Akane still battling. High fastball probably coming here. No, here comes that drop in power curveball that Edge has been using quite well. Ground out here. Now top of the order. Kito going to try and get things going. Lays off that super low fork ball. That thing's been getting lower and lower and lower because of how well. Uh, MC Scales has been hitting the shoot ball that inside shoot ball so tough to lay off so tough to hit Power curveball just misses it will be out number two Nishihara is one out away From getting out of this inning with no damage done Megumi will take a swing just over the top of the fork ball Now we got the 0-1 pitch probably shoot ball here. No high fastball Takahashi will be there, pull it in, and that is out number three. So, three innings left here, moving to the top of the seventh. Takahashi going to try and get some insurance runs. High, going to foul that off. Somehow got the PCI above that. And now we got Takahashi, who, who I think that pitch right there, Edge has been handling very, very well. Drops the PCI. I think what MC Scales is doing now, he's realized he cannot throw towards the zone, or towards the end of the zone. Edge is really working the corners, uh, and so what he's doing is either going much farther outside, or he's all uh, just coming inside here, hitting a lot of plate. See, look at that. He backed off, and that is a tough pitch hit right there because you really got to precision control the PCI there. The claw grip is really helpful for that. Uh, but if you're just using your thumb, you really got to be good to hit this pitch right here. Because ultimately, you can't jam the PCI all the way down. You have to almost kind of steady it. So that'll be the end of the inning here, or the end of the half inning. Moving on to another chance from Kappa. Takeshi swings at the first shoot ball. Hasegawa will make the play. And that will be out number one. Kojima coming up to the plate. Apparently hit 091 here in the training arc. Batting first. BB. Uh, at first base, sorry, playing first base. Just underneath that power curve. Power curve, one of the hardest pitches to hit, in my opinion. You really, uh, you, you cannot swing underneath it like you can there. But if you swing over it, it is a deadly, you know, soft ground ball. It's, it's one of those things that feels very similar to a special pitch because the movement is so violent. The spin is easy to pick up, but the movement varies based off of where it is in the zone. So it makes it much harder. All right, so moving on to the top of the eighth, Hashimoto. This is, uh, got six outs left here to try and make some magic happen. Ground ball down first, Kojima will pick it up and get the out here. Nishihara coming up to the plate. Akane trying to keep this thing close. Katetsu is gonna take a ground ball, easy over there. Gets uh, Nishihara by a few steps and now fourth hitter, Goto, is gonna have problems getting that high fastball out of here. And just like that, moving to Kappa's last six outs. Got six, seven, eight, and then nine, one, two coming up if things were to stay somewhat the same. The shoot ball. Looks like MC Scales have been having trouble with the shoot ball, similar to Compass and some of the, the other teams so far here. Not able to really time that thing up. And so here we have 0-1 to Kosuke. Fork ball, there was, he was waiting for it, and there it is, another hit on the fork ball. That's exactly what MC, Sc MC Scales wanted here, and he's got Katetsu. He's got to hope not to roll into a double play. I think he might have just done it. Katetsu is not fast enough. He got the fork, fork ball he wanted, but too much zone, and that will be, that'll bring him down to his last three outs. All right, so. Akane gonna try and keep it close. Gonna get one out here with that fastball inside. We got six batter Hasegawa. Hard slider coming up. Gonna swing through it. 0-1 with the count. Low away fastball. This might be Edge's pitch. He's just a little bit late on that. So we got 0-2. Here comes the high cheese. And he is gonna get a piece, but Dice K is there. That will be out number two. So one out. And Akane is gonna be able to go sit on the bench unless we get to extras. 
And I do not think Kojima's going to get there. Not very good speed there. So Yamashika, the catcher, going to try and get a hit here. I don't think Kojima... Oh, wow. That was a very casual and ugly catch by Kojima. All right, so I think Akane is done here. Looks like... Tanakawa has the has the pinch hitter ability. They're not going to bring him in though. They're going to bring in Ogawa here. He's got purple mood, so that's unfortunate. This is actually, I think, your starter for his baseman, um, but he did not get to the start because of the purple mood. So he he says, you know what? I will take this power curveball, and he'll get it. So now MC Scales has got to try and find someone that can run the bases a little bit, and it looks like Hibikawa is going to be it. C speed looks like C running the bases. And it's all up to Kido. Kido cannot ground into a double play here. Stealing would be very, very uh, challenging thing to do right here. It is 0-2. Here comes the pitch. Oh, killer fork ball buries it from Nishihara. A, a double play will end the game. So if you're Megumi, you got to try everything you can to not hit into that double play. 0-1, beautiful shoot ball. And that might get over his head. That is caught down to their final out. Cap Academy and Takeshi down to their final out. 3-1. Can Nishihara do it? Here comes the first pitch. Fastball. No, sorry. Shudo. That's how difficult it is for to read Nishihara's pitches. Takeshi. Wow. First, second. Comes in super clutch. And now we've got runners on first and second for Kojima. He's sitting on that fork ball. He's ready. That might fall. That is going to be caught. Wow. Power curveball. Goto is able to get there. And the Hashimoto Academy win 3-1 over Kappa Academy. What an in insane game. Nishihara comes out super clutch here. He will be player of the game. Of course, that one run there. Holding MC scales to one and then getting that three. Huge, huge star for Hashimoto Academy to try and take this pool, come up with a solid rating, solid ranking here in pool play to propel them into the actual single elimination bracket tournament. So let's take a look at the box score and just see how things did. All right, it'll be eight hits to seven. Looks like Kappa gets the most hits, but only gets one run from that. Seven hits. We'll get the three for execution that all came just in that one inning. Akane will get the loss. Nishihara will get the W. Taking a look at the hitters. Watanabe 0 for 4. Sugisaka 1 hits. But I would say Goto with that double and the RBI. Same with Kamion and Hasagawa. Nishihara goes 9. 70 pitches. 31 batters faced. 8 hits. 3 Ks with that just that one run. That earned run. Moving over to the Kappa side, we've got Kido, 0 for 4. That's unfortunate there. Kido's one of the better players, but Megumi picks him up a little bit. It's uh, 2 for 4 there. Uh, Kazuhito with the only low run in that one hit. Kosuke goes 2 for 2. Uh, and uh, 3 Ks on the day, as you see there. Kosuke with that one RBI. Despite getting the loss, Akane actually does quite well. 74 pitches, 34 batters faced. The seven hits, the one strikeout, and just unfortunately gave up those three earned runs. Well, that's going to do it for this game. This is was a crazy good game. Three to one, very similar to Cap Academy's last game. Uh, you guys, I'm loving these games. The competition is intense. Uh, I'm really excited to see how everything falls out in all the pools and we get into the simulation bracket. So thanks for tuning into this one. Until the next one, we'll see you. Peace.